and welcome back to Quest for Glory 1, the VGA version. Um, we were about to drink some Dragon's Breath, so let's see how that goes. He gets a, gets a mug. He fills it up. Whoa, um... There you go. I, I don't like the looks of that. You never tasted anything like it before. Oh, wow! Whoa! Talk about a fiery brew. Maybe you really shouldn't have had tried the dragon's breath. Better luck next time. You hope you saved your game. Well, we did. Well, we can order ale or something else, but, um, let's just ask about Crusher. He don't like his personal affairs disgust. My advice is not to do anything that'll get him upset. Oh, well. I think we should talk to Crusher. Oh, yeah? What's the password? Um, oh dear, we don't know the password. Well, maybe we'll find it out later. Anyways, let's leave this depressing place. Walk fast, hero. Walk fast. Walk faster, hero. Yep, they're still there. Um, let's take a walk out into the uh the forest. Or at least a walk out here a little ways. The breeze is cool, but you feel a shiver deeper than just cold. You were really on your own now in a very dangerous place. The card wooden sign reads Spielberg. Steven Spielberg? Well, let's, let's go over this way. The bright smell of fresh herbs mingles with the aroma of wood smoke as you come up to a hut by the side of the road. <gasps> oh, excuse me. What's this? The well, the house looks cheery and well kept. It has the sign of a healer above the entrance. Oh, this must be the, uh, healer we heard about. First, let's climb the tree. It takes a lot of skill and practice to climb this tree. I'll say that a few times. Well, uh, Let's check to see if our climbing is actually gone up, if we've gained any climbing skill. Nope, not yet. Um, unless I'm deeply mistaken, though, eventually you do. So I'm going to pause for a second and uh, come back when we actually have some uh, climbing skill. Hi, and um, we're back. Yeah, sadly, um, you cannot. I was completely and utterly wrong. You cannot raise your climbing. For some reason, I remember doing it before. But, um, yeah, I guess maybe in the past I just haven't taken magic. Um, what I did is I uh, saved Castiel. And he will be our thief character, so I can um, still show you guys the thiefy things. Um, because, uh, you know, I know Late Blight and his playthrough of the EGA showed the thiefy things, but, you know, I want you guys to be able to see what they look like VGA-wise. Um, I'm sure there's probably a few other playthroughs that do that, but, you know, I want to try to be as thorough as possible with this. So, um... And don't be surprised next time I uh, I have this that this one's also changed to Castiel because Kiji does not sound like the name of a hero. But I don't know. If you guys want me to keep it, what have you. I live for you guys. See, look, if I try to climb the tree now, I still can't do it, but... But it should actually be eating my stamina this time. Yeah, you see, it's actually eating my stamina. 
I've gotten some experience and my climbing has gone up to eight. Whereas before, it did nothing. You politely knock on the door. After a moment, you hear the inside bolt slide open. A voice from inside says, Come on in. It's all in one room. The fragrance of the fragrances of herbs mingle with some rather unpleasant odors as you step into the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look like you look very healthy for an adventurer. Must be new. What can I do for you? I can sell you a healing potion if you like. I also buy spell components if you're interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me. I always have so much to do around here. And that she does. She stirs and then she goes over here. So now we can actually talk to her. Um, so you're the healer. Well, my name is Amelia Appleberry, but mostly I'm just known as the healer. With capital letter. I will be happy to sell you some of my potions. I live here with my pet, Petri. Or Terry, I guess, since the P should be silent. Pet. Oh, that's my pet. We're going to call him Terry. The Petrosaurus, the Tetrosaur. He has a girlfriend, Teresa, with a nest in the oak outside my door. Terry keeps me company and listens while I chatter as I work. Oh, uh, well, that's nice. Uh, what's, what's a pterosaur? They're a species of flying lizard. I understand they can go quite large in the south. Um, for some reason, I, I think that's um, somewhat of a reference to uh, the Dragon Rider books and the fire lizards uh, from uh, some of those books. And McCaffrey's books. Hold still. Tell us about your ring that you lost. My ring is shaped like a gold, yeah, in gold like a braid of the herb Athelius with intertwined leaves. I don't know how I lost it. I hardly ever take it off. Ah, you still lost it. Let's put the reward. I will give six gold to the person who returns my ring. It was a gift when I graduated from the College of Healing. The, the, the College of Healing? There's a college? It's like medical college. Um, tell us about potions. I make and sell healing potion, power potion, vigor potion, and undead unguent. Ah. Well, I think we can kind of figure out what these are. Healing heals you. Stamina, power, power potion restores the energy you need to cast spells. Yeah, okay. Uh, and the adjuant means the dead will not munch on you. And magic. I have the skill to use my magic to create potions. I'm a bit proud of it. Not everyone can do that, you know. Yeah, that's, that's interesting to know. Something else. Tell us about these spell components. I always need ingredients for making potions. Right now I need some Aranus flowers, magic mushrooms, troll beard, and let me think... Hmm, oh yes, Cheetar claws. I will be happy to pay you if you bring me some. I'll also buy back any empty flasks you have so that I can recycle them. Waste not, want not, after all. Uh... Cheetah, pretty much Troll's Beard, Flowers, Mandrake Root, um, that, that's, the that one's interesting. It's not one of the things she told us about. Mandrake Root is used in a variety of spells, mostly for evil purposes. Mandrake must be pulled from a dead man's grave at midnight. The root is particularly powerful. Well, that's good to know. I'm not sure we're ever going to need that knowledge, but... We are out of time, so see you guys next time.